You're watching KCRA 3 News at 8 a.m. in high definition on KQCA My 58 TV. Uh, also talk about pictures from your vacation, whether you're traveling for a weekend or the week, consider traveling in an RV. We're joined right now by RV expert David Woodworth. Thanks so much for joining us. You've got a lot going on behind you there. But, you know, the first thing Californians think about with road trips is the cost of gas. You still say this is one of the most affordable ways to travel? It is. You know, I, I actually live in California, and so for me, uh, you know, I live in L.A. area in the winter, and I can go to the beach, which is 30 miles away, or up in the mountains, Big Bear. And so it's a wonderful way to travel. I mean, you don't have to go very far to see the desert or anything in California. <laughs> That's so true. it's just a wonderful way to travel. You know, and, and the RV industry has, again, 100 years to celebrate, uh, 100 years since the uh, beginning of the industry. How have things changed? Because with the recession, you know, I would imagine that sales went down, um, costs went up in terms of getting these RVs to people. Well, I don't know if it costs went up. They probably went down too. But it's certainly true that RV sales went down. Uh, but the industry is actually the last eight months has really been pretty good. And uh, everybody is beginning to sigh with relief. That they think the bad days are over, or at least they're hoping they are. But you can see RVs have come a long way. I have a slide out that slides out of my RV. And look at the room I have. Wow, I mean, impressive. This is not a bad cabin. And you see the TV, modern uh, refrigerators that are all stainless steel, stoves to cook. Look at a washer and dryer in my bedroom. I can lay in bed, I can watch a TV. That RV actually has three TVs. Uh, it's a Fleetwood Discovery. It's a great RV. Well, it looks gorgeous, but you think, you know, what kind of driver's license do I have to have to drive one of those things? I mean, for people who are very new to RVing, what do they need to know in terms of operating one, getting behind the wheel? Well, uh, if you if you know what D, N, and R stand for, you push one of those <laughs> buttons, and, and then you step on the gas, and we got power steering, got TV cameras in the back. I mean, RVs are really very simple to drive, and the industry has made it that way. That's awesome. And then uh, just tell us uh, real quickly, you know, about price ranges. Right now, if somebody wanted to buy one versus maybe renting one, what do you suggest? Well, your renting one's a great way to go. You can rent it to start it out, see if you like it. But prices start at about $5,000 and go up. There's something for everybody. Uh, I just think it's a great experience for your family. And that's how I got started, taking my daughters through the Sierra Nevadas. All right, and we have a lot of viewers in the Sierra Nevadas. Thanks so much, David Woodworth, again live from the RV Heritage Museum in Elkhart, Indiana. And for more information, you can go to RVing, GoRVing.com. Thanks so much, David. Thank you so much, Andrea. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.